Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 1 p.m. update. Currently, we have all the U.S. indices. In fact, most everything is trading to the downside. The Dow's off 329 points, a little less than 1%. 1 in 7 tenths percent for the S&P. That's 77 points. The NASDAQ, 103%, 460 points. The Russell's off 1 in 3 tenths, 26 points there. 3 and a quarter percent for the semis. They're down 116 points, trading out at 3480. You've got gold off 4 bucks, silver down 34 cents. That's 1.5%. Lights Recruit is trading higher by 35 pennies. She's trading at 88.61. Natural gas, big move yesterday to the upside. Today, big move to the downside. Let's go take a look at our nine panel market update chart. We begin by looking at the ES Mini in the upper left hand side. What we'll see here is uh, prices, you know, this isn't going to really tell us where we're trading to. You'll have to tune into the Trader's Edge show when I'll show you all of the daily oscillator and change line levels. That's where price is likely targeting. Now, it could take those areas out. If it does, then in the case of the ES Mini, we'd be looking at a move down to about the 43.96 level. And that's a real possibility. While that spot volatilinex remains above its 50-day exponential moving average, that's currently printed at 22.26. You've got the uh, NQ pulling back, so it's back below its uh, daily profile, the top of the daily profile. If the move lower is just a counter trend move, setting up perhaps the C point of an A to B equals C to the upside, then where the NQ should find support is at the level of 14,484. If you take a look at the U.S. dollar index, we know it's got a TD9 count top. Price is pulled back. It's back below the bottom of its daily profile, which is 95.60. It also is, I believe it's targeting a breakout area around 91.05, 90. I, I can't remember, but if you if you tune in the Trader's Edge show, we'll certainly take a look at that. Goldilocks, um, you know, not it, although it's rejected the lows of today, it, it, you've got gold trading lower in terms of euros and pounds, higher in terms of yen, somewhat sideways in terms of uh, of uh, of dollars here. So gold's not going to get a whole lot of traction uh, until it starts trading higher in all of the currencies out there. You can see lights week crew. There's a new profile that's attempting to form. Price is really trying to take out the quarterly profile level and that's at the 8903 level and if we do get above that close above that boy we're going to see lights we could slice we could will not have any resistance at least from a profile standpoint folks stay tuned for the trader said show we'll be back in just a few minutes if you're off to start for thursday have a terrific one we'll look forward to seeing you again soon